Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to part two. And so for part two, we took that equation that we made in part one, and now we got some numbers to put in here. Now, usually these numbers would be written in a paragraph, and you would have to sort through some words to find these numbers and the information, but these are the numbers. Turns out sneakers cost 120 a pair. I know, some even cost more. I need two pairs of sneakers, right? It's, we're going back to school shopping. I, got, I need two pairs of sneakers to go back to school. Video games cost $60 a game, and I'm trying to figure out how many video games I can afford to get. Well, how much money do I have to spend? Let's say we saved up all our summer money for mowing lawns and stuff like that, and we got $500 to spend. Where would I put that $500 to spend? Yeah, exactly right. That's the amount of money that I got to spend. This is assuming that I'll blow it all on sneakers and video games, which I might. But that's where the $500 would go, right? Let's talk about where these other numbers would go. $120 per pair of sneakers. Where would that go here? Price of one pair of sneakers, that S? Yeah, exactly right. And then times the number of pairs that I'm getting, I'm getting two pairs, so... Yes, exactly right. Moving right along. Do I know the price of one game? I think I do. Yes, exactly right. And... Now I solve the equation for y. Yes, it's just that simple. Solving the equation for y, though, is another video, and I'm sure you're a pro at that by now. So let's talk about a different type of situation here. Okay, let's switch it up a little bit, right? We're going to take a break from shopping, now we're going to go on a trip. So we get a big group of people traveling together on buses and cars. So... How can we come up with an equation or a math equation to talk about to show the total number of people that are traveling, right? They're traveling by bus and they're traveling by car. Now, each bus has to fit a certain amount of people, right? So let's talk about that. Good. Couldn't we say B is the number of people that fit on each bus, right? And then we can say X is the number of buses there are, right? Here we go. So the total number of people on buses, how can we get that? If I know B is how many have fit on each bus, X is the number of buses, wouldn't that just multiply them together? Just like that. Just like that. Now, can we do something very, very similar for cars? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. And if C is the number of people that fit in each car, and Y is the number of cars, wouldn't I just multiply them together to find out how many people total are in cars? Yes, that's exactly right. And then we could just start throwing the numbers in from the particular problem. Now, wait, I know what some of you are asking. Well, Mr. Earp, what if the number of cars and the number of buses was the same? <gasps> Good question. And that's exactly what would happen. If the number of cars is the same as the number of buses, then I can use the same variable. It's the same as if we said the number of cars was twice the number of buses. Yeah, if the number of cars was twice the number of buses, I would just take that number of buses and double it and then plug that in. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of questions like this where one price or one amount is based on another. So then you just change that variable to base it on the other. Yeah, let's throw some numbers in here. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. So we have 300 people going on our trip. We could fit 30 people on each bus. We don't know how many buses are going yet. Six people fit in each car. We don't know how many cars are going yet, but we do know there are twice as many cars as there are buses. So if X is the number of buses, then 2X is the number of cars. Does that make sense? Good. So let's plug it in here, man. Do I know what capital B is? How many people fit on the bus? 30. Yeah, that's exactly right. I don't know how many buses yet. I'm going to find that soon. Do I know how many people fit in each car? Yeah, says six. Yeah. I solved this equation for X. That'll tell me how many buses and it'll tell me how many cars. Yeah. Man, I hope this helps. Check me out. There's some practice videos to come following this, man. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for coming. Bye. Oh, yeah.